Uh, we heard him in the woods down below, coming up under the rocks. Oh. He heard the noise and saw the female. How was the wind? Really good for us, not for them. So you smell them first or no? Uh, first of all, I saw a female. I, I, I hear something in the woods and I saw two, two animals. And I, I saw the, that the second one was a female Ibex. And I was sure that the first one, it was a male because it was smelling that time. Uh, it was a really good time while we were trying to reach him and uh, can figure out where the animal is. Uh, we stop a lot of times, give him time so we can hear where he, he is going. After five to ten minutes, let's say, we saw it. He has his moment. He make a perfect shot. What distance? 96 meters. Really? Yeah. It's so like sniper yeah. shot yeah, with shotgun. No, no. And it was an excellent shot. So it's, it is possible? It is possible. On this Practice distance? Practice with the shotgun. Yes. Practice with the shotgun. You never know when they're going to show up. He'd, we'd, uh, we'd heard him in the rocks down below in the bushes. And then uh, we had just climbed up to the last, uh, we climbed up through the rocks to the last trail up to the lighthouse. And he'd come up above us to see who we were, what we were, and immediately he, uh, um, Lefty got on it, uh, told me that he was good, and uh, leaned forward, and I used his backpack and his back as a rest, and shot uh, just over 100 yards, and then we hit him in the chest. He'd gone down over the side, and then we'd, we'd found him down below, laying there. On a spot, quick death. No, oh, yeah, he'd, he'd, he went maybe. Uh, there wasn't 20, 20 yards, maybe 20 meters. He went. There wasn't no blood at all. But it's difficult with the shotgun to shoot on this kind of distance, yeah? No. <laughs> if you are prepared for doing that, there is no... Practice. Yeah, but you can see on the horns of this guy, somebody else was trying. <laughs> somebody yeah. Else, yeah, somebody else rung his bell a little while back right here. You need to <laughs> do it like here. Yeah. Right here. here from here to here. Flag. Maybe maybe two years ago, somebody shot at him and hit him in the horns. It could be more. Maybe, maybe three. Maybe even more than that. Yeah. yeah. So it's yeah. It's going over. So he was lucky enough to survive until now. Yeah. Be beautiful animals. Uh, very clever. And they disappear awful fast. You must. You got to be prepared when you see them. Yeah. Get, re get ready to shoot. Yes. That's the difference. Some recommendations for the other hunters, what to bring, some special equipment, did they need or? Well, practice with the shotgun. That's, I, I, can, I can't say that enough. You, you can't shoot the shotgun enough. Open sight, open sight with a true glow, dot's all you really have, so you, you have to practice. Everybody wants to shoot one at 30 yards, but you, want the, you don't want to miss the opportunity at 100 if you have one. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank and you. always believe Pleasure. that they can do it. Yes. Uh, hi, I'm Jason Webster. I'm a trial lawyer from Houston, Texas, and I am a, uh, a um, exotic game hunter that I've hunted all over the world and country. So we got to the island where these Cree Cree Ibex uh, live this morning. Um, we've had a tough two days hunt. Tough in that it was a lot of walking. We did over five miles a day, but the island is packed with beautiful trophies just like this one. Um, we got off the boat this morning very early, um, and... Um, as we walked maybe 500 yards when uh, one of the guys heard him whistling. When he did, I uh, uh, we grabbed the we were able to see him because I'm six foot three and so is my friend Scott Kendricks. I could see over the top of the brush and I could see him uh, standing up there eating. And so I was able to stand on my tippy toes and get a great shot right on him and then take this fabulous um, somewhere between eight and nine year old uh, Cree Cree ibex here in Greece. I highly recommend um, safari seasons. Uh, I had a, I've had a great experience. The food has been great. The lodging has been wonderful. Uh, the hunting, they have great guides that, that did everything they can to make your trip as pleasurable as possible. And I highly recommend that if you're, uh, if you want to shoot a fabulous animal uh, and have a great time with great meals and wine and the rest, come here. So 
Um, we didn't get it yesterday, but uh, I also was able to take a mouflon uh, with Safari Seasons here in Greece. Uh, the mouflon are beautiful, beautiful animals. Uh, the, the one that I had that we found was uh, approximately 91 yards or 83 meters uh, is what we range find it at when we uh, took it with a 12 gauge shotgun and a slug. Uh, it'll reach out and touch them if you get a good hold on it and, and place it just right. It hit exactly where it was and dropped in where it was. So although you're shooting with a shotgun slug, these guys get you the opportunities that you need to be able to be successful in your hunt. I highly recommend them. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. For Cheers. your success. The team success. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers, man. Cheers. The guy. Thank you. Cheers for you.